Hi, my name is Ross Gustafson and this is Tesla Volta Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Terraforming Mars. we had stated that there were seven kinds of actions. In video three, we had talked about two of those seven kinds of actions. Now we have the other five. All right, these ones are a little bit more straightforward. That's why we could pack five of them into one small video. As, um, but as well, this video is also gonna talk about a very important concept, which is the tile placement. Yes, tiles, that's what the whole board is for. It's not just all cards. There is a board there and you are putting tiles on there and we'll show you all the details about that. All right, let's head over to other actions. The first kind of action in this video is the standard projects. To do this action, the player just picks one of the projects and does it. Only one project per action. These projects are available to everyone and at all times. There are six different standard projects. Sell patents, build a power plant, crash an asteroid, build an aquifer, build a greenery, build a city. Selling patents is just selling off and discarding cards. You get mega credits equal to the number of cards you sell to the bank. All cards you sell are then discarded face down in the discard pile. As you can see, since you likely paid 3 credits per card, this is usually not a good deal unless you are desperate for cash. Building a power plant just means you pay 11 mega credits to the bank and you get to raise your energy production by 1 on your player mat. Crashing an asteroid costs 14 mega credits. It allows you to raise the temperature and gain a terraform rating. You cannot do this if the temperature track is maxed out. Build an aquifer costs 18 mega credits. It allows you to place an ocean tile. All ocean tiles must go onto the blue ocean areas only. You get a terraform rating when placing an ocean tile. You cannot do this project if there are no more ocean tiles left. Note about ocean tiles. Whenever a player places a tile, they get two mega credits for each ocean tile neighboring their tile they just placed, even if the tile they are placing is also an ocean tile. You never put player markers on ocean tiles as no one ever owns the ocean. Build a greenery costs 23 mega credits. You can place down a greenery tile on the board. Whenever you place a greenery tile, if the oxygen track is not maxed out, you move the oxygen track up by one and gain a terraform rating. If the track is maxed out, just place the greenery tile and do not gain the terraform rating. Greenery tiles must be placed adjacent to another tile you own on the board. That is any tile that has your player marker on it. If you have no tiles that have open spaces adjacent to them that are not ocean locations, indicated by the blue hue on the tile on the board, then you can place a greenery tile anywhere on the board. When you place a greenery tile, you put one of your player markers on the greenery tile stating you own it. Remember, all greenery tiles reward you with an additional victory point at the end of the game. Notice that the greenery tiles share the same component as the city tiles. When placing either one of the tiles, place the correct tiles facing up so others will know what you are building. The final standard project is build a city and it costs 25 mega credits. It allows you to place a city tile and increase your mega credit production by one. City tiles can be placed on any unoccupied non-ocean space on the board. These cannot be placed on the unique city tiles in the two colonies or in Noctis City near the center of the map. City tiles provide no other short-term benefit on their own, but at the end of the game they are worth one victory point per greenery tile adjacent to the city tile to a maximum of six points. A few more notes on placing tiles. You can never place a tile in an occupied space. There is no limit to the number of tiles you own on the map other than the physical number of available spaces on the map. Also, any resource icons or card icons a tile covers up, the player who placed the tile gains those resources from the bank to place on their player mat in the symbol's matching resource pool and or draw that many action cards on the top of the deck to keep for free in their hand. The unique special tiles set aside in the game setup are gained through unique action cards. 
If you're placing them on the board, place them with the side uh, with the square in the center of the tile facing up. Place a player cube on top of that tile. Otherwise, they follow the same rules for placements and bonuses. The second kind of action is to use plants to place a greenery tile. Simply take eight plant resources from your plant resource pool and give them to the bank. Then place a greenery tile onto the board following all the same rules for placing greenery tiles. If the oxygen is not maxed out, you raise the oxygen level by one and gain a terraform rating. This way you can generate greeneries not with mega credits, but with a different kind of resource. The eight plants requirement for a new greenery tile is illustrated on the player map for your convenience to help you remember this action. The third kind of action is to use heat resources to raise the temperature. Take eight heat resources from the heat resource pool and put them into the bank to raise the temperature one on the track, increasing your terraform rating by one once you have raised the temperature a step. Heat cannot be traded in for raising the temperature if the heat track is already maxed out at plus eight degrees Celsius. A note about the oxygen and temperature tracks. There are some locations on the track which give the player a bonus if that player was the one to move the track at that point. At negative 20 and negative 24 degrees Celsius, the player who reaches those locations gains a heat production for each location. At zero degrees Celsius, the player who reaches that point gets to place a free ocean tile down and gain the terraform rating for placing an ocean tile down. At 8% oxygen level on the oxygen track, the player who reaches that location gets to move the temperature up one on that track and take a terraform rating because of raising the temperature. The fourth kind of action are the milestone actions. Milestones are shown at the bottom left hand side of the board. There are five different milestones available in the game. Any player can claim a milestone as an action if they have eight mega credits to pay for the milestone and if they have the requirements to claim that milestone. Only three milestones can be claimed over the course of the game. When a player claims a milestone, they place one of their player cubes over the top of the milestone to indicate that it is claimed and that player claimed the milestone. Each milestone claimed will grant the claiming player five victory points at the end of the game. The five different milestones are Terraformer, Mayor, Gardener, Builder, and Planner. The Terraformer milestone requires a Terraform rating of 35. The Mayor milestone requires the player to have three cities anywhere on the board. The Gardener requires the player to have three greenery tiles anywhere on the board. The Builder requires the player to have eight building tags among their face-up played cards. The Planner requires the player to have 16 cards in their hand. Once these milestones are claimed, no other player can claim them. The claiming player owns the milestone for the rest of the game. The fifth and final kind of action are the awards. The awards are shown in the bottom right hand side of the board. There are five different awards available. Now awards are not awarded immediately, but only at the end of the game. A player can use an action to fund an award. Only three awards can be funded in the game. An award can only be funded once. The first award that is funded, the player pays eight mega credits. The second award that is funded, the player pays 14 mega credits. And the third award a player funds, they have to pay 20 mega credits. However, when you fund an award, you are not guaranteed the points. In fact, all you are doing is making the points available for that award. The player who does the best in an award category gets five victory points at the end of the game. And the second best player in that award gains two victory points. If there is a tie for first and or second place, then the time players at that level gets the victory points for that level. To make it clear which award has been funded, place a resource cube over top of the award once it has been funded by a player. There are five different awards available. Landlord, Banker, Scientist, Thermalist, Miner. Landlord award is given to the player who has the most owned tiles on the board. The Banker Award is given to the player with the most mega credit production rate. The Scientist is the player with the most science tags in their player area. The Thermalist is given to the player with the most heat resources at the end of the game. The Miner is given to the player with the most number of combined steel and titanium resources at the end of the game. Again, first player gets 5 points and the player with the second best in these categories gets 2 points. 
Whew, wow, we've now made it through four videos. Woo! All right, now you are ready to play your very first game of Terraforming Mars. Now, there, I did mention there was one more video, and that's on game variants. If you like more advanced rules, or you like some slight variants, or you want to learn the solo game, those are in the variants rule video, which is video five. But you should now have rules for to pretty much play your first game and to everyone to get used to the rules and see kind of how long the game is. Um, so take a break, have your favorite beverage or snack, play a game if you like. Otherwise, head on over to video five, Game Variants. I am Ross Gustafson, this is Testable to Games, and we hope we spark your interest in better games like Terraform Mars.